Hi everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a thorough flip through of my everyday carry. This is my Franklin Covey compact inserts and the cover is a Moterm Lux personal size 2.0 with 30 mil rings. Now, I just want to reiterate that my guts, this is what I call my guts, remain the same. I just play around with covers. So you'll see sometimes I'm in my Franklin Covey Aurora, I'm in a Giulio Amica, but the inside, the innards of my planner and the functionality in my system does not change. So we're just gonna go through and I will kind of show you my inserts, how I use them, etc. Now I will be doing a, another video that's gonna go in depth on my finance section. So we'll kind of briefly go through that, not really in detail as I plan to have another video coming out in the next couple of weeks, probably next week. All right, so if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this kind of content, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. For everybody else, welcome back. I love to spend this time with you and this is a long awaited video. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, so as I mentioned, I will refer to this as my guts. You can see she's pretty filled up. This is 30 mil rings and she's got a lot. She's got a lot in there. I've been looking at Instagram a lot recently and seeing a lot of people slimming down their planners, their inserts, and I giggle because I'm like, don't do it. I think because I love chunky planners, but everything in here I need. There might be a couple of things that I probably don't need, but that's a lie. I need everything and we'll go through it <laughs> as we go through it. So again, in this planner, I I typically don't decorate. You'll see that I'm not really a decorator kind of person. There's not a lot of um, dashboards or like decorative pages. I'm just not that person. I wish I was because when I see videos from like Crystal Plans or Carrie from I Heart to Plan, I think those are the right handles. I love to see a Nessie um, from Nessie Plans. I love to see the beauty of people's pages. I unfortunately, because of my ADHD and my OCD, I can't do that. My mind just, I can't have those pages, but man, I wish I could, I wish I could. So you're gonna see kind of bland, I guess, but it's all functional for me because that's just how my planner is. My planner is a tool. For me, planning is not a hobby. I know for a lot of people it is, and that's awesome. For me, it's, I have to have this, otherwise, I would be a complete nut job without my planner. <laughs> so I, I am gonna do, I mentioned in another video that I am going to be doing a planner system video. I, somebody mentioned like, hey, you have a work planner, you have this planner, you have your Moleskine, like how does it all come together? So I'm gonna do a video that is also gonna be coming out. I mentioned in my recent, I think, pocket Moleskine plan with me that there's going to be a lot of videos rolling out this month. So I suggest you put the notification bell on so that you know when I drop them. Okay, so let's get into it. So like I said, I don't have a lot of decoration. The decoration you're going to see is basically my theme for the month, which is this beautiful girl. This is my tinsel hair, I don't care era that I'm in. And then I just do, I, I try to do something simple. I do page flags that match the theme. So, and then I do a little side thing here. I always like to have washi because if I'm, something's not sticking, like a sticky note, I just tear a little piece there and put it where it needs to be. I have an emergency card that has my info as well as my, my children's info in case this gets lost or in case I have a heart attack somewhere and I have my planner with me, they can just pull that out and call who they need to call. This is from Sweet Freckle Design. I know it has a name, but to me it's just a cute little bunny. So that is from Sweet Freckle Design. This clear, or not clear, this frosted divider is from Lines Plus Paper. 
it came in a set that I purchased from her. I purchased several sets from her. So she's got very nice quality stuff. And if you follow me for a long time, you know that I like to have themes both in my pocket moleskine daily. That's kind of my pocket moleskine daily is where I get to be creative. And you, you can see one of those plan with me videos to see that I change the theme every month and have been adding that to my everyday carry. So again, this is the only place you're gonna see this kind of cutesy stuff. And then on my weekly, I have also another place where she sits. So we'll go over that as we get into it, all right? So here we go into our the functionality, the guts of my planner. So this is a freebie from Tool and Twine Co. And what I did is just sticky taped it to a Franklin Covey two-year glance. Now the Franklin Covey two-year glance comes with every Franklin Covey planner, whether it's monthly, daily, they always include a two-year at a glance. The front part is like your name, your address, all your pertinent information. I don't use that. And so I just sticky taped a the cute dashboard that I love onto the, the front of this two-year at a glance. I've been using, I love to print stickers. They're stickers that she has files for Silhouette or Cricut. I print all the stickers and I love her shop. She is my favorite shop and the only one I really use. So I've just been doing a funny expression for each month. And then we get into our monthlies. So let me just kind of pull this out here. So this is my monthlies and the monthlies are called Her Point of View. I've been using these monthlies for years. I don't know if you can see that from where you're at. Let me see. Do you see that? So it's cute. It's simple. And so the way this works is it's, let me see if I can get one in the center. So it's a month on two pages. It is a Sunday start. I am an old person. I just turned 48 and our calendar is Sunday start. It's just how all calendars were back in the day. The way this works, it's it's month on two pages. And then the front of it has a index and the back has a master task list. So this year I started really utilizing the master task list, but how I've always used the index is I put birthdays, I put anything of value that needs to be here for me to remember and reference at any point. And then I always put any kind of renewals, whether it's my DMV registration, whether it's some kind of subscription. And so this is kind of just to make note, either I pre-write out specific things, like in the beginning of the year or at the end of the year, I start prepping for 2024 and I'll put birthdays here and I'll put any registrations or any subscriptions due. All the center is kind of, that gets filled in as the month is progressing if I need to remember anything, right? So like here, I got an email from Kaiser after doing labs that I was deathly deficient and they wanted me to go to the emergency room and I was like, I'm not going to the emergency room for B12 deficiency, but it was that bad. Um, so I just wrote down when that happened so that I can remember when I started the 5,000 MCGs daily of whatever, right? And then here is the month view. And then you can see here, the back has all of my to do's. And the way that this works is in the beginning of the month, I'm like, what do I need to do this month? What are the goals for me to get done that I know off the top of my head? And then throughout the month, I'll add things as I remember them on here because they don't have a specific date. And then whatever doesn't get completed in that month gets carried over to the next month and so on and so forth, okay? And that's been really working for me. And I really love it because it makes me have to sit and really think through, what do I wanna get done this month? What needs to get done? And then if any of that has to get moved to my weekly view, then I'll do that. But typically it sits in that kind of, this has really been my to-do list. All right, now another thing that I was realizing in previous times is that there are certain things I wanted to keep track of and not have a separate tracker for it. I wanted to be able to look at my monthly view and see the things that I want to see besides appointments. So if you can see here, hopefully there's nothing too personal, but if you can see here, I have you know my lash appointments, doctor's appointments, kids, chiropractors, all of my appointments is here. And I like to keep the entire year because 
I like to go back and reference things and I like to forward plan and put things that need to be placed, okay? But what I realized is like things I wasn't keeping track of that I wanted to see here. And that's like when I put gas and the only reason that is because I work from home and I rarely, I do have to go to the Bay Area to see my, my bosses. And so I like to know how much my gas is uh, lasting me. So you can see here, I have a little gas thing. There's a key here somewhere. Let's go to May. There's a little key here. Can I pull this out? And it shows you like what I'm keeping track of. My gas, talking to my dad, mom visits, and mom errands. And that's what I decided that I wanted to kind of see besides, uh, you know, appointments. And the reason being is I wanna see like how often am I taking my mom out? She lives in a senior center. How, how often is she coming over? Because sometimes I have time blindness where I'm working so much or I just think it's that I just saw her when really it could be a week or two since I actually had her come over for dinner. And the same with my dad. My dad lives in Texas and so the goal is to call him every Saturday, but as you can see, I've missed some I've gotten really bad with my dad, I need to fix it. So that's kind of that. And then um, my Costco stuff is something that I wanted to keep track of because I do a huge Costco order and I also wanna see how long does that last me. So you'll see here like Costco in January and then I think there was another one in April. Yeah, so the stuff that I, I order in bulk like big time. So I like to have it last and I like to see like when was the last time that I ordered a Costco order. What else? I keep track of obviously my paid vacation and holidays and stuff like that, but I realized I needed to have a separate calendar for that. So you will see that in a different section. So that's really what I like to see at a glance on my monthly calendar. I wanted to kind of see everything and not have to go and reference a different planner or a different uh, section in my planner. The calendar holds all for me, okay? And like I said, anything of importance is here. And then I have, I don't think I can take this out, but you can see here, I have these cute little stickers highlighting something and those are highlighting birthdays. And I have two different kinds. I have this kind highlighting a birthday, but I know it's not anybody, not important, but nothing like that I would buy a gift for. It's just to know like, oh, that's my boss's birthday or that's my daughter's friend's birthday. When you get to the ones that have this cute little sticker, Again, I create all of my stickers from Canva. This cute little birthday sticker means it's somebody that I love and that I'm gonna have a birthday party for, get a gift, get cake, something like that. So that is the dif differentiating the kind of stickers and I know what they mean to me. So that's kind of what differentiates different stickers because it means something to me. So that again, here's my February, my January, my month at a glance, my February ta or my January tasks. You can see a lot of stuff went down here. And then February tasks, March tasks wasn't a lot. And then you have the rest of the year. And then I always take the current month and put it into the center of my planner so that I can see it and it's near my weekly. So we'll go into that shortly. So there's the entire year because I like to reference past months and I like to forward plan upcoming months. And then we go here, there's a little tab here so that wherever I'm at, I can go to this tab and this is my brain dump, my notes tab. This is where I have blank pages, where I have graph pages. You can see I have a bunch of notes in here and I have lined pages. And this is where I just brain dump things or this is the first place that things go and then if it's of importance, I will then move that information either to a calendar section or to a to-do section or maybe my weekly. It just depends. So this is kind of a, it is a notes area, a brain dump area, kind of where things live before they get placed anywhere else. And like I said, I have blank pages, I have graph, I have um, my little, these little notes pages that I love. I created these, a lot of these are freebies. This particular notes one is freebies. I will let you know when there's freebies. Again, I do freebies on my website, but it's only Franklin Covey compact size. So like this one, add to a list is a freebie. 
And then this notes, cute page, lined paper notes is a freebie. And I think that's it in my notes section. Okay, then we go to the first tab. Now, I have mentioned this a million times that my tabs are my life. So I have tabs here, I have tabs at the bottom, and I have tabs at the top, including my notes tab, right? So again, I've mentioned before that I wish I was the type of person that had a lot of decoration because I see so many cute dashboards, you guys. Oh my God, so many cute vellum and so many cute dashboards. But unfortunately, my brain doesn't work that way. And the way that my planner is, I have to be able to go directly to the places that I need. So like my monthly view, I have a tab, I can go straight to it. My weekly view, I can go straight to it. My trackers, again, my cleaning tracker, my health tracker, et cetera, et cetera, right? So tabs for me are life. I Without tabs, I couldn't function. I would be like bonkers, like no joke. All right, so we're gonna go into our first tab and you'll notice again, I talk about how I don't have a lot of decoration. What I did want is to be able to see my favorite family photos. And this is like super thin copy paper. And I just went on Canva, I picked my favorite photos and it's the last page in every section so that when I do go to the to-do tab, I can see photos. When I go to my currently tab, I can see photos. So it's a very thin uh, copy paper and it's just printed all my favorite photos so that I can see that when, you know, I turn to that specific tab. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Again, it's very thin copy paper. Most of my inserts, like my weeklies, are 24, 28 pound. Anything that I laminate, I laminate with three mil, unless it's something that needs to be like super sturdy. I do three mil on my laminations. And then anything that's gonna be there long is for sure gonna be a 28 pound or 32 pound. And I do bright white paper. So that's that, okay? So let's go to our first tab. These specific tabs, the side tabs are from Lines Plus Paper. Now the way she works is you customize them and mine were customized with white lettering. I ended up getting the magic eraser and I erased what I had with the magic eraser and now I can use these any way I want. The bottom tabs are super sturdy because the Lines Plus Paper is sturdy but they're very thin. But the places that I go to the most every single day, which is monthly, weekly, uh, bills due and daily banking, those are sturdy. And these are from Planner Press. So we'll go into our to-dos. This was a greeting card that I got at World Market. And I basically took the greeting card, made it into a dashboard. So one of the things that I use are my little stickers. So the ones that I use a lot repetitiously that I don't necessarily need to have written permanently, you'll see here, I have blue apron skipped for three weeks. I have family breakfast on a specific day, family dinner. And that way, if it happens, great, then I'll fill it in. If it doesn't happen, I can move it around, decide what day we're actually gonna do it. So that's what these little guys are. I cut them to the size of my little squares and it's basically just cute little page flags from Daiso. And then I use my label maker to just put what I need to put there. And then when I'm done with them, I peel them off and put them here or put them in the next month when I need them. So that's what that looks like. So in the to-do area, I have a trigger list from Brown Plans and the, I printed on the back. This is Plan with B's trigger list. And then I created these process ones. I have different types of to-do. I have the lists, just a running list that I created. This is from Simple and Trendy Co. It's one of my favorite inserts because you can use it so many different ways. You'll see it throughout my planner. So I have some of those that are blank. This I created, I believe this is also a freebie on my website. It was inspired by a Target memo pad and so i have some of these in here and these have been the one that i've been using a lot this is my process 
this is how it looks in a dictionary. So I just thought that was cute. And this was inspired by Plan With Bee's call list. She has a call log rather. And I thought that's a great idea, but I don't want to have boxes of, I want to have, be able to do a running notes. This is kind of a to-do like on steroids. So you'll see here, like here's one for Kaiser. This is the phone number I call. These are all the times I've called. So this is just to-dos that are in process. Here's Belle's identity theft, all the things that we needed to get done and what we did, pharmacy stuff, dermatology stuff, ADU for our home. Like this is what this is, right? And then I have a different kind of list, like home repairs that I'm trying to get done. I have Plan With Bees books to read that I am sucking at, if anybody knows. Um, this is a list for Belle that she's trying to get done for May. These are the videos that I'm planning for this month. Like that's where this stuff sits. So it's technically a to-do, but I kind of want to say list, kind of want to say in process. So right now it says to-do, but that's where all of my stuff sits, okay? Then I have a divider here. This is also a little dashboard separating active lists from blank ones when I need to pull it I can just pull one and start a new list this is a freebie it's one of my favorite quotes and it is a freebie on my website okay and I believe I have this as a freebie I can't remember simple and trendy co this for sure the stop per procrastinating is a freebie I don't know if my process is a freebie I can't remember all right, so there we go. And now we are in the currently section. So in currently, I have, again, my currently divider. Here I have a very thin laminated quote, and this is a freebie on my website. And then on the back, I just put, Hey Planner Girls Perpetual Calendar. And so here is where like birthdays are listed, any kind of renewals or due dates. So basically what I put here, Costco renewal, will correlate to my perpetual calendar. And then here is the month at a glance. Again, that first tab down here takes me directly to my month at a glance. We've already been through this. I have a key of the things I track. This is where all my appointments go. This is where anything important goes. And then the to-do list, this is active, what I'm doing now. Then I have this, which is a, I created it on Canva and I laminated it, again, very thin, so it doesn't take up any space in my planner. And this has a double-sided flags. I think I have it in my Amazon store. I don't have it with me, so I can't show you the exact uh, what they look like, but they're super sturdy and I love them. I put one on each side and then I double-sided tape it so that it's super sturdy because I go to this section a lot. If I'm in my finance section and I want to go to my to-do list, I'm able to just grab that tab and pull it so that I can quickly go to my to-do list and either add something or check something off. All right, so that's what that is. Again, this is a Canva creation. And then we get into my weeklies. So I keep my weeklies here. And again, the tab takes you directly to the current week, which here we are, week 19. These weeklies are freebies on my website. They're dated freebies and you can use them however you want. The difference is mine say shit to remember. <laughs> The what freebies just say things to remember. The second thing I want to mention that a lot of people don't seem to know, and even though the freebie photo shows it, this is like a week on four pages. So you would print this first page and then the back of the page, let me pull these out. So this is the first, you're going to print that. This is how it's going to print out. And then you put it back into the printer and you print the backs and this is what the backs look like these are not meant to be back to back I didn't create them to be weekly back to back they're meant to be a week on four pages you have the front of the page you have the week on two pages and then the back of the page now on my website, you have multiple options of what you wanna do for the backs, right? The weeks are gonna be the same, dated, but you have multiple options on what you wanna to choose to, to use. It's totally up to you, but I just wanted to make that very clear. They're not meant to be weekly back to back. 
So let's go into our weeklies. So here is what so far my weeklies look like. This is how I'm very messy. I don't decorate. I do like to highlight that first line just because my brain likes to see it that way. And I have weekly spending, which we'll go into later in my other video. I have a video coming out going into detail about how I use my finance tab and all the inserts and how they work together. So we'll go over that later. So again, front shows, you know, if nothing else, my meal plan and then health tracker. This is somewhere between Proverbs 31 and Tupac, there's me. This is also a freebie on my website. Again, printed on super thin paper. This just separates my past weeks from my current week. And then here's my current week. I have my, obviously my weekly tab. I have a plan with B that I shrink down and this basically just tracks my B12. And then I have a paper clip here if I want, if I need anything here, like if I have to deposit checks or whatever it is, I can add it to this place here. And that is what my weeklies look like. Again, anytime I do purchases or spending in that particular week, I log it. And like I said, we'll go into that in a different video. I'm not gonna spend time. Here's the second decorative piece. And again, she also has a flimsy tab just because this is where if I wanna log something, I can quickly go there and log spending. The reason why this isn't double tabbed like my to-dos is because, you know, my themes change out monthly. Again, here are all my weeklies for the month. And then we go into our trackers tab. And our trackers tab has, this is Dear Planner DL. This is a blank monthly that you can date yourself. And I use these for my watching calendar. I like to, there's certain things I like to watch. I don't watch things live. Everything is DVR'd, recorded. And then I go back when I have a free time on the weekends, late in the evenings, if I have nothing else to do, I will decide what habit I watched and then I watch it. This just tells me if I'm behind which ones, because sometimes the TV will put the most current one and I'm like, oh no, I, I skipped one, I need to go back. So this kind of keeps me on track on the things and I just highlight it when I'm done. Nothing on the back, it's just kind of bland. This one is my monthly meals. I believe this is also a freebie on my website. It's just because we eat out a lot. I wanna keep track of what we eat and how many times we go out to eat or order in. And so you'll see back here under home, I keep past ones so that I can see how many times we ate out versus how many times we cooked at home. All right, so trackers. So there's the meal tracker, freebie on my website. Then I have a orders tracker. This is, um, I don't think I have this. Do I have this? I might have this as a freebie. I have no idea. I just put stuff on there. Again, these aren't perfect. They're just stuff I use. So orders, um, I stamp it for each month at the beginning of each month so I can see how much I ordered in a month. That's really what I'm trying to see. How much did I order in that particular month? I have, I got the confirmation email when they're telling me the estimated arrival date is and then when I receive it. I typically put an R if I return something. So I returned Sephora and I returned the mosquito thingy because I ended up getting pest control, getting a pest control company to come out. All right, so that's just a running list. It gets tossed after it's filled and a new one is here. This is another freebie. This is, I think last week or the week before, I was having a really bad week and I saw this on like a little Twitter comment or something and I'm like, I'm totally taking that, making it into a dashboard. So this again, super thin, it separates from my outfits, we'll go into that later, and the pertinent trackers. I'm realizing this is gonna be a super long video, but again, you guys wanted a detailed flip through, so here's what it is. This I created because I initially created my meeting outfits, and the reason I created this is because I work from home. Every so often I have to go to one of the wineries or I go to the Bay Area to meet with my bosses. 
one or both, depending. Or I have investment meetings. You can see here that I was in San Francisco. I had to do investment meetings. And so I don't go out often. And what I was realizing is I have a few favorite outfits. And I was like, did I wear this the last time I came to a meeting with my boss? Like, am I wearing the same favorite outfit? So what I decided to do is create this insert so that I can have the date that I met with my bosses, who I met with, what did I wear, top wise pants, shoes, miscellaneous coats or whatever. Now, this has been freaking amazing for me. And then I ended up doing a family outings one because now we started going out for like breakfast, brunch, um, happy hours with my friends or you know going to breakfast and dinners with my family this kind of tells me okay girlfriend make sure you don't wear the same thing so these i know it sounds so silly but for somebody who works from home and i'm in my pjs or my yoga outfits most of the time this has been god sent okay so i have one for my meetings business one and one for family in reference to the meetings this is a Puff Pages Co. freebie. I love this freebie. This has been exceptional for me. What I use this is to log actual face-to-face -face time with my boss. Again, we live in different cities. I live where all the wineries are that he owns and he lives in the Bay Area. So there's times where I have to drive to him or he comes here to one of the wineries and I meet with him or we have investment meetings in the city. This is like how much one-on-one -on -one time do I have with my male boss? My female boss, I meet with her all the time. So this has been really good and tracking for me with my boss. Then I have things to watch. This is if I'm watching TV or I'm on Netflix and then they say, oh, this documentary is coming out or this is coming out on this particular day. Like I haven't watched a behind the music on MTV forever. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to write that down so it reminds me. So this is kind of a reminder of things I'm watching, wanna watch, something I saw as a preview and it's kind of here. Um, this I added, this is my library books. I created this just because I wanted something pretty. This is like a decorative thing. I haven't been a big reader. A lot of these I read at the end of last year. I'm trying to get my ass in gear and read more often. I have two books I'm in the middle of. One is um, Twice Shy and the other one is The Measure. So I'm trying to finish Twice Shy so I can get into The Measure because I know that that's such an amazing book. Everybody's told me about it. So again, I created this on Canva. I print the cute little photos on glossy paper and put them here. It's just nice to see. It's like a motivator for me to keep reading. And this is a simple and trendy co. If you remember, I have it back here as one of the ones that I use often when I need to. This is my home inventory. This is what I do every month. I go into how much do I have of everything. And then when things are getting low, I add them to my to buy list. And then that way when I go to purchase things at Target, wherever I know how much I have and what I need to replenish and restock my areas. Okay, so you have medicine, you have personal stickers, batteries, it's all here. Then we have my first top tab, which is a cleaning tab. These are from Simple and Trendy Co. I absolutely love them. And these come blank. And then I went into Word and created the Word. So I print it. It comes out blank. I put it back into my printer. It then prints the words and then I put it back in my printer so that it can have this cute title page. Where is it? My cute little title page. And so I have the entire year already printed and I like to keep the current month here and then I keep the previous month here. I love these inserts. I love them. Simple and trendy co. Okay, and then we get into my health tab and my health tab has two things. It has my AM routine, PM routine on my skincare. And then I added this in, this is from Doa Inspiring Designs. I love this uh, fold out. I have, I like fold outs, I really do. And so I didn't really start tracking until April because I was turning 48 that month and I'm like, girl, girl, you need to get your skincare in order. So I, like I said, I printed out my AM and PM routines 
and then I check mark. You can see my little key here. I have AM routine, which I check mark, and then I have my PM routine, which is just using my retinol, my retin-A, I don't know, tretonin, I don't know how to pronounce it. So retinol, it's supposed to be every three days I do my retinol, and then I do an exfoliant on the fourth day. Yeah, so you have, there's, I did an exfoliant. So I do the nighttime routine, but when it has a purple little dot, that means I did the exfoliant um, treatment, not the retinol treatment. And then I have a microdermabrasion and then the dermaplane. So this kind of keeps track of all of it. I've been sucking the last couple days and not doing my nighttime treatment because I've been so exhausted. And so that's what this is. And then I keep a log of my, my weight. And then what I decided to do is also use this to track my Fitbit. That's what these little pink dots are. It's indicating when did I charge? And so that's what the pink dots are for. And then my weight. And then I just add if I gained or lost in that particular week, each week differentiation. So that's that. Then we get into finances. Now I'm gonna quickly go over this, not really go over it, I'm just show you what's in here. I have a monthly snapshot that ties in to the weekly spending. I'm not gonna go into it because there'll be another video. I have that, I have a brief outline of all my bills, all my subscriptions, what gets paid to what. Again, we'll go into that later. This is my annual spending. This is from Perfective Paper. I love it. It's my second year using it. It is the best thing ever. So I recommend it if you're wanting to do your tracking. And then I have monthlies here. Let me go to a blank month. These are freebies on my website, these month on one pages. And what I do on mine is I enter all of my bills due. Everything is here so that all I have to do is add any uh, variable amounts. Again, I'm not gonna go into it very much. And then my daily banking has my checking register. I have AMX spending little thing. This is just, again, another plan with B that I check off when I do my daily banking. My daily banking I do every single morning and then I have all my savings that are grouped together. I also have a credit score sheet this is something I created on Canva. I just like at the uh, beginning of every month or end of every month, really, I track, did it change? Is there anything going on? It pretty much didn't change. It's been the same. And then here is, I never showed this. And what I did is put a fake one here. So this tab, you'll see another bottom tab here. And what this tab is, is it takes me directly to my credit card info. I hate the glare, sorry guys. So I have all my major credit cards here. I have my ATM card and then my routing number for my bank accounts, my checking and main savings. And then I have my two main credit cards that I use. And then I have a work expense card here, my HSA card and my FSA card. And the reason why I have an insert like this is because, and I have a tab that takes me directly to it, is because I leave my wallet in my car. I'm gonna do a whole video of that, of what's in my bag, because you guys have asked me for that as well. But this way, if I'm on a call and the medical person says, okay, I can pay with my FSA card or my HSA card, I'm able to get my planner quickly flip to this page and I can provide the information without having to run to my car to get my actual credit cards. And then the front of this has my annual salary, my base salary, my 20% bonus, my 401k, my employer, my wine allocation, my FSA contribution, my HSA, and then what my salary is with the phone reimbursement and without the phone reimbursement. So again, this is a fake one. I just have it here so that you can see what I have so that when I'm here and I want to go and flip to my credit card information, I have it here. I have blank pages here. So this is just kind of a notes area. And then there's other things here that I'm not going to go into. And then we go into the personal tab, which has this really cute minimal planner self-care receipt. I just love it. It's just right against the first tabs. Now these little white tabs are Franklin Covey. They come with a set of 12 with the intention that you would do January through December. I just use them and put my own stickers. So I have under my personal, I have home, info, and miscellaneous. So under home, 
I just have the holiday menus that we do every year. My son is on the autism spectrum and he has aversions to food. So there's certain things he'll eat. I have a pantry freezer log. I just have a list of things in my pantry so that when I'm deciding to do a meal plan, I can see and check things off my list. Here's some meal ideas. Here is the previous months, what did we eat? And then I think I have March, it's smaller because it was in my pocket rings. I have a cleaning list. This coincides with my Simple and Trendy Co. The only thing that's not on here is the seasonal and annual stuff that I need to get done. But everything else is in my cleaning tracker. On the back of this, I have my appliance list. This is dishwasher, fridge, stove. All of this is here in case I, something goes wrong and I need to contact an appliance person or get a part. I can tell them exactly what it is I have and they're able to say, yes, I can fix that or yes, we'll order the part, etc. I have a carry-on checklist when we travel. I have this copy of the US because I'm horrible at geography. I don't know why I have the US, I should do the world one. I have to do Portugal, Chile, Paris. I really need one for like the world. I have a garden schedule here, just when I plant things, when I prep the garden. Then we go into info. I covered some information here, but here's my skincare, what I spend for each item. Here is where I keep, again, this is new because in my monthly, I keep track of my days off or whatever here, but I needed to be able to see it in a quick view. So I have a paid holiday, vacation, sick day, and then I have yellow for just kind of a miscellaneous. And then I write down how much uh, hours I have as of that payroll date. And so that way I can be like, oh no, I don't wanna hit the 200 max, so I need to take a day or whatever off, okay? And then the paid holidays are already scheduled there. I have auto maintenance for both my car and my daughter's car. And then I have another simple and trendy code. These are everybody's sizes for Christmas or birthdays. I have sizes for everybody. And then here I have, again, a fake one because I'm never able to kind of show, obviously it's personal information. But so what we do, what I have is I have this sheet for every person in my family, including my, my pets and my mom. And so what it is, it'll say my name, it'll have my passport number, issue date, expiration date. I have my global entry card expiration date, my driver's license expiration date, et cetera. My health insurance number, all the doctors that I have or see, and then any medications that I'm on. And then the back just has a health log for that particular year. Anything I want to make note of, you know, whatever. I have that for every single family member. And this is how it looks other than it has the correct information. Okay. And then that is it for there. And then we go into my miscellaneous. And my miscellaneous has just literally miscellaneous stuff. When my daughter started her job, things I have like a DJ mini a drone, a GoPro, what silhouette I have, just weird stuff is here. Anything miscellaneous sits here. This I ended up, this I had like here and I didn't like it. This is like a name tag holder that fits my stickers perfectly. And so I just like added super washy and super strong tape and then hole punched it so that it's here. And that way when I need something i can just go here tear it out and then use my favorite stickers so that's here i have my tombow brush both in plain regular bright white so i can see what the colors look like there and then in my pocket moleskine beige so i can see how the colors look there and then i have these which basically i did this a while ago because every time somebody asks me where did you get this where did you get that I have a list of where I got everything and there's two here because I changed things out. And then I often forget like where I got my bookmarks and whatnot. So this is kind of what this is. And then my favorite stickers. Then I have a Franklin Covey beautiful gold foiled folder. And in here I just basically have 
meal plan little thingies and then extra budget per paychecks in here and they just go in here and I pull them when I want and then I just have different kind of post-its that I use while schedule I have my little this is also Franklin Covey um, zipper thingy not zipper but pouch and it has stickers and miscellaneous stuff I keep my plan with B I always print the entire year and then I put two or three months here so when I need them I can pull them again one is for my B12 tracking and one is for making sure I did my banking every single day this is from Posh Pieces. I got this sent to me back in 16 or 17 when I was uh, repping for her. I love it. She goes into every planner. And then I have this little fold out. God, who is this from? I will link it somewhere, but it's the fold out. Everybody knows who this is from. I just, my brain won't let me think about it. And I just have a bunch of different sticking notes, some from Plan With B, from the I, some that I created, some are from, you know, Daiso, whatever the case. And then my page lifter is from Franklin Covey, and I have a, a lot of little miscellaneous stickers. I love these little round stickers. I got them from Daiso. It came with a kit of like this, these, and some page flags. Then I have Hey Planner Girls, planner sizes, and on the back, how to resize stuff. And then I have my Tombow Favorites, and this I created on Canva. And then this is my, I love this picture. You guys know I use this for April. And on the back, it has my key codes for my car. So I have keyless entry. I could just do my keypad. And I have all the codes in the back of how to lock it, unlock it, open the trunk, etc. So that's that. And then I always keep a Franklin Covey ruler because I just like to have a ruler here. And my... Tombow, my favorite Tombow, which is sand. And that is it, you guys. There's nothing, I don't think I have, do I have, I keep some stuff in here in the back pocket. It just depends. But that is my flip through of my Chunky Monkey planner. Isn't she gorgeous? So that is my flip through, detailed flip through of my Everyday Carry Franklin Covey Compact size inserts in my Moterm Personal Lux 2.0. I will be doing several videos. One is going to be a detailed video on my finances, all the inserts, how they work together, how I do my budget, etc. So that is coming. And then I'm gonna be doing another video on my planner system. So that is it. Again, if you are new and you like this kind of content, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. For everybody else, thanks so much for spending time with me again. I really appreciate it. I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you. All right, everybody, I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful week. Bye.